Okay, daddies. I'm not in focus, but how are y'all doing? <laughs> Can you tell that this is the S5 and this is the S5 II? One of them keeps me in focus. And it's not you. <laughs> My dorks, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Another week, another DaVinci Resolve video. And today we are talking about... What's the technical name of this? This, let's see, let's drag a music track down. This is the AI music editor. I don't know, I call it the music retimer. I should use the technical name because that's what you all are going to look for. But this is a feature that people who have been switching from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve have been begging for for an eternity, an absolute eternity. And guess what, dorks? We got it. We got it. Lock, lock it in. We got it. We made it. For those of you new to editing, this feature is crazy. All this is is basically you can take any song uh, that you drop down into your timeline and you are able to essentially shorten or lengthen it. Uh, and it's going to basically say, okay, here's how long you want me to be. I'm going to edit the music with AI to have it naturally end where you have drug it to be. It's a magnificent feature. People in Premiere have had this for a while. And again, as someone who loves to manipulate the length of music, and it's historically been, you know, kind of a tedious process, kind of an industry secret for us editors, this just makes it super easy for everyone to do it. So, very, very cool. Uh, let's pull up DaVinci Resolve. Let's look at what we've got going on today. So, we are going to take this song from, let's see, it's called Rise. Um, we're gonna just, I, there's really no reason why it necessarily needs to be with this animation, but again, I just wanna show the example here on how to do it. So drag your song down into your timeline, uh, click on that, go over to your inspector and you're gonna see this AI music editor right here. Um, there's a couple of things you can do. You can type in a target length, which is very cool. Um, what I like to do though is I like to just hit this live trim button. And what that does is now I can come over here to the end and You'll see here this new trimming with the little waveforms next to it. Historically, your trim would look something... Let's see if we turn that off like this with the little rectangle and the dots, which again, just shortens the song, doesn't do anything. But let's select this, let's turn on live trim, and let's just drag this down to be the length of my animation. And right away, AI Music Editor pops up. It's analyzing the clip. It's looking at the music, trying to figure out, hey, how do I shorten it to be this exact teeny little length? Which again, this is kind of a weird use case. When would you ever want to shorten a song to like 10 seconds? Well, okay, you would all the time. So we'll see how it does. But let's, uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. So you can see we've got these little squiggles just showing kind of where it has merged the music. And let's, I'll turn my audio up here. Let's see what we're working with. Hell yeah, brother, that sh really liked how that turned out. I think the one thing I don't like about it is how quickly it swoops there. At the end, it really drops off, which again, depending on what we're doing here, that might be, might have been what I want. Um, but again, it's just as easy as coming down here and dragging it out. Um, and that's maybe too much. Let's shorten it a little bit and let's kind of see what yeah, okay. Oh, perfect. That looks like maybe what we might want here. Let's see what this one sounds like. Okay, so this is a little bit too long, but the beauty of this feature, and again, kind of why it's super fun to use and play with, is because I just did this, I can now open up my blade tool. I can just cut the end of this off, uh, disable it, and then put a little fade here at the end. And I think we've gotten there. This is like kind of turning a song into a little blurp for this animation that probably wouldn't have worked or would have taken me way more time. This is sweet. Let's watch it one more time. I mean, come on. <laughs> Guys, that is sweet. That is incredible. Um, I love this. This is really, really cool, really good stuff here. So, so again, that is how I've been using the AI music editor of killer, killer feature in DaVinci Resolve 20. Editors who used to use Premiere, rejoice, you got it. DaVinci Resolve 20 cannot be ignored anymore now because you get your AI music remixing uh, feature, which is really, really cool. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. I'm going to get back to editing. If you like what we are doing here, make sure to hit that like.
like and subscribe button. We do appreciate it. And as always, you know, I like to like to throw this in at the end. If you're the biggest nerd in your town, the biggest dorky daddy you know, consider becoming a dorky daddy today and supporting the channel. The dorky, oh man, I really was, was feeling that one and I just couldn't quite articulate it. But the dorky daddies support this channel, make it possible, make me able to make these videos and we sure love you dorky daddies consider becoming one today but as always my dorks you know the most important part stay dorky